Hi, what's up guys? I am here with a new exiting video. So I will be telling you guys that how you can make your own Roblox GFX like many big YouTubers do. Without yapping too much, let's dive straight in. First you need to get Roblox Studio to export your Roblox avatar. Once you are in, press base plate. Then search load characters and install the plugin. and choose plugins option. Click on it and enter your Roblox username and make sure to press R6 or else the textures won't work afterwards. Then export like whole avatar like I do into a folder. And then export only your accessories like I do. Then close Roblox Studio and open Blender. I will give the link in description. Once you are in Blender, press General and be careful, do whatever I do. Delete everything in the scene. Use and hold mouse scroll wheel to move rotate camera and use scroll wheel plus shift to move your camera. Then go on to this website where you can get rigs of Roblox to make GFX. Just download the rigs and the HD faces folder. Do not extract the rigs folder but extract the HD faces folder and go in Blender. Press edit on the top then preferences and press the little small arrow then press install from disk and search up the Roblox rigs file. It will look like this. And press install from disk or just double click on it. Congrats you have gotten the Roblox rigs. Then press N on your keyboard and you will see a small button called starter rigs on the right side. Click on it and select any rig you like. I will be using Blocky Rig. It should be looking something like this. Alright guys, then we have to press the third circle button. Left click on your rig's torso or any limb. Then press shading button on the top. Now do whatever I do. Press on the main texture node like I do. Then select the Roblox skin wherever you exported it from Studio. If you want face on your rig's face, then add the HD face like I do. I like this one. After you are done, we have to import the hats we exported from the studio. Make sure it's split by group or it won't work properly. Right click on your keyboard and then set origin to geometry. Then make sure to put the hats or accessories at the right place like I am doing. Then select all of the accessories that are attached to the head by just holding shift and left clicking on them and after that, press the gear on the top of the Roblox rig. After that, left click on the yellow line on the rig's neck and press Shift plus P and then Bone. Then, select your neck accessories or back accessories the same way and attach them with the two lines on the torso.
Next comes posing. I am not going to tell a lot about posing because I want beginners to learn it by themselves so they can improve and explore how things work in Blender. But this is how I am posing my rig. You can take inspiration from this pose. When you are done with posing, you need to add a sun to add lighting to your scene so it won't be dark. Do the settings I do. Then add a camera like I do. You can play around with settings like focal length, the render resolution and all of it. After that, I'll be setting up the camera's resolution to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Do all of the settings that I do. and then hit Render. After your render has been finished, just save the render into a folder or anywhere you like. Guys, Thank you so much for watching till the end. If there were any errors or mistakes, please let me know. And please subscribe my main YouTube channel called Uday Far and see you all in the next one. Peace out, Mother Flowers.